And we are actually set to learn more today about this deadly gunfight involving a murder suspect and sheriff deputies in Albuquerque. It all started as a car chase. And this morning, that man is dead, and now investigators are trying to figure out if he shot himself or if a sheriff's deputy shot and killed him. News 13's David Romero is live in the newsplex with more. Good morning, David. Good morning, Matt. Deputies say that exchange of gunfire came at the end of a chase where the suspect fired a gun at them while going through traffic. Everything breaks down like this. Deputies say it was around 7 last night when the two deputies spotted the suspect as a passenger in a van on bridge near Five Points. They tried to pull the car over with their lights and sirens on. The van took off, and deputies say the suspect started shooting at them. More law enforcement got involved for about a mile before the driver of the van, an unidentified woman, crashed into a wall. The shootout continued. When it was over, the suspect was dead. We do have a couple of deputies that were involved. The suspect was also firing. Uh, we're not exactly sure um, as to the manner of, of, of if the suspect shot himself or the deputy shot the suspect. We won't know that for quite a while. The woman driver is said to be okay and was later interviewed by investigators. As for the suspect, there is still no word from deputies as to which homicide he was tied to. We expect to, we expect to learn that in a news conference later today. Matt, back to you. Thank you for the details, David. This is the second shooting that Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies have been involved in this year. The first was back in March when state police and deputies chased down a young man on I-40 after they say he stole a school bus. A deputy ended up shooting him. Elizabeth.